Welcome to this tutorial about managing river floods using hard engineering. This is defined as something which is man-made in structure. Hard engineering is about preventing flooding or controlling it and it can also be a very expensive option. I'm going to look at four ways of managing floods. The first is dams and reservoirs. A dam is a concrete wall which is built across a river. Uh, let's imagine a river flowed in this direction here. And the river flow is halted. So it's a very effective way of managing um, floods uh, because it stops the flow of a river. Um, behind the dam wall, um, a man-made lake or a reservoir develops. And these have benefits such as recreational um, purposes uh, the water can be extracted for irrigation, that's farming, and also the water can be released slowly through the dam wall, creating hydroelectric power. So a very effective way of managing floods with other benefits. However, um, a few drawbacks here. Firstly, very expensive to build, and also in the reservoir, originally there would have been some settlements there, villages, towns, and these would be flooded, so people would have to move. So the second method of hard engineering to control river flooding is to straighten the channel. Uh, when a river flows in a meandering pattern, the river water flow slows down and it can cause flooding in and around the meandering area. So a simple solution is to cut off the meander and create a brand new straight channel cutting through to increase the flow of the water, the efficiency of the water, so it doesn't overflow. In the photograph on the right, you can see the old meandering river, which was forced to slow down these bends. And now the new channel, which has been created to cut through, increasing the flow of the water, thereby reducing flooding. The problem with channel straightening is that if you get rid of the potential for flooding in one area, let's say here at A, more water flowing really quickly downstream can increase flooding at say B. The third method is in the form of embankments. Imagine you have a river channel with a capacity of this amount of water, but this regularly floods the floodplain. What you can do is you can build raised banks on either side, either from concrete or you can dredge material from the channel bed and you can scoop it up and create more natural looking um, higher river banks. And this has um, the added benefit of increasing the capacity now of the river channel you can see that this shape here is much greater than this shape here. The river can carry more water so there is less chance of flooding the river banks and you can see in the photograph on the right um, very high um, man-made embankments um, are present there to control that river flood. And the final method is flood relief channels. Um, imagine that you have a naturally flowing meandering river here. One option could be to cut it off and just straighten the river channel. But actually the meandering river um, might be important um, for trade or for recreational purposes or for ecosystems. So that is not an option. What you can do, you can build a new channel here a flood relief channel which can be used during very high rainfall. There may be a, um, a gate here called a sluice gate that can be opened during high rainfall periods allowing water to flow in the relief channel as well as the original channel thereby reducing the amount of flooding that could occur for example here on the floodplain. And in the photograph on the right um, you can see the original channel, which is here meandering through, and also the relief channel, 
which is used during high periods of rainfall.